I know, I know, and that's that's good. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. So on this one, we're really just looking to factor this expression. Out, okay. So once again, with that negative garbage, which you guys seem to love so much, we've got to factor out that negative. So I'm going to make that a negative 16 t squared minus 92 t. All right. I think the general consensus was that this is how you guys want to do it, and that's okay. So let's look at the 16 t squared first. 16 t squared. 16 is uh, 4 and 4. So I've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times t times another t. Now let's look at 92. 92 t would be, uh, uh, what the heck is 92? It feels like 16 is going to be part of it. But what would that make it? Uh, fifth, fifth, 16? 92 divided well, by 16? Yeah. It's 5.75. Oh, then 16 is no good. Four, Four, thank you. 23? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. 23 is prime, that's nice. 4 is 2 and 2. So this is 2 times 2 times 23 times t. Now when I find my greatest common factor, I've got a 2 and a 2. So 2 times 2 and a t. So that's a 4t. So uh, when I factor this out, let me give myself some space here. I've got a 4t and in uh, negative, right? And in parentheses, the 16t squared, what was left over? I got a 2 times 2 times t, which is 4t, minus, that's just from this minus sign. And then the 92t, what was left over from that? Just the 23. And this would be the factored, well, I guess they want, I assume that they want this equal to h of t. What the heck? But they should have that on the homework for you. So it's not going to go back to 4t plus? From really good question. If I wanted to distribute this negative 4t into the parentheses, then, I mean, just to check, then I should get that same expression that we started with.